Hi there beautiful souls and welcome or welcome back to Clutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I'm here with another pick a card reading for you and we are going to be looking at a no contact situation between you and the person on your mind and we're going to get some messages from this person. What do they want to tell you at this time? This is a timeless reading so whenever you come across this reading there could be messages here for you today. It's also a general reading so only take the messages that resonate with you and leave anything else then for other viewers who come along later. If you do find the reading helpful, I would really appreciate the thumbs up, a comment, and um, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd really like that as well. And I'm also available for personal readings if you wish to book one with me. You'll find the details in the description box below. So back to this reading and the no contact situation. What are your person's messages for you today? So we've got option one. We also have option two. And we have option number three. If you need more time, please pause the video here. Otherwise, I shall see you at your timestamp and we'll have a look. What are your person's messages for you today? Hi there, option number one. Those of you who chose this card here, we will take a look at that message at the end of your reading for you. So we're just going to pop in here for now. Can we get some tarot cards first of all? And we're going to get some messages, uh, written messages, oracle cards as well. And really find out what your person's message is for you today. So starting off with the Lightseer Tarot deck. I do hope everyone is doing well. All doing good here. Let's have a look. What does your person want to say to you? For group number one, please. What is group number one's person's message? I did just see the six of cups there. So this person could be definitely reminiscing. I'm not sure if I'm upside down, am I? No. Um, yeah, this person could definitely be thinking about the soul connection you share together. This person could be thinking fondly of memories that you guys have shared as well. So we have the five of wands jumping out here for you. We've also got the queen of pentacles. And we have the seven of pentacles. The first message I feel this person wants to tell you, okay, is that they do see your worth, even if they have been conflicted within their mind space, even if there has been conflict between you guys, this person has a lot of respect for you. I also feel, okay, this is someone who is very invested in you and your connection, okay, this is another message that they have for you. The bottom of this deck, wow, we've got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck here, it doesn't get much better than that when it comes to a reading, okay, for love. This person, okay, definitely feels this soul connection, like I was speaking about having seen that Six of Cups energy for you. I feel for many of you here, okay, either you are in a committed relationship and you guys have had um, a bit of a falling out, a bit of conflict here, okay, or there is this strong desire from this person, okay, to reconcile, to have this committed relationship is something I feel here. I also feel with this Five of Wands, okay, this is something that this person has been in conflict over in regards to for quite some time. I feel this person also wants to let you know not to take it personally. I feel this person could have um, projected quite a lot of their fears, a lot of their struggles, a lot of their challenges onto you, okay, and it could have even made you feel like this person wasn't interested, wasn't invested in you, and I feel that's not the case. This person also wants to let you know, okay, that they have a deep sense of love for you, that they value you, that they see your worth. They see you as somebody, okay, who is very nurturing, somebody who's got a lot going on, somebody who definitely doesn't need them. But the fact that you desire this person is what I'm getting here, okay, something that it intrigues them. It makes them want to open up, it makes them want to invest, but at the same time it triggers them in some kind of way here. I also feel this is somebody who wants to apologise in some kind of way, okay, for allowing their inner, inner demons then, okay, to have a conflicting um, effect on you. I also feel with this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay, this person could be somebody who's admiring you at this time from a distance, okay. I'm also hearing um, know when to stop as well. And I do feel for many of you, okay, you could have invested a lot in this connection, but you've sort of brought that energy back to yourself is something that I'm getting here. And this is something that this person really appreciates and values. I also feel, okay, with this very earthy energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be significant. 
Um, but with this earthy energy here, I do feel that this person admires how grounded you are. Despite the fact that there might have been conflict here, okay, I do feel you are somebody who is very stable in your own right here. Let's get some written messages from this person. This Two of Cups indicates, okay, this person feeling this connection with you. It's a mutual connection, this desire for union, okay, this desire to sort of pour into each other's cup here. I also feel, okay, that this connection, it was very free-falling. It wasn't forced in any way, okay, it just kind of happened. The feelings developed, okay, it was a very mutual thing. Um, and this person had maybe a little bit of a control um, issue, okay, in allowing that to flow and cause a little bit of conflict here is something else I'm getting. I'm also hearing you're not like the others. We have love wins. I surrender. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get some more. What else does this person want to say to my group number ones at this time? We have here, I need more time. Be happy. It's what you deserve. Even if it means leaving me behind, don't feel guilty. I only want the best for you. This person really does have this um, unconditional love for you is what I'm getting here. This person doesn't necessarily need to be a part of your future to wish you to be happy, which is really beautiful. The barriers I have create the illusion of safety. Damn, I have been a fool. I want to communicate with you on a deeper level, but every time I try, I stumble on my words. I know this needs to be deeper than I've ever allowed myself to be before now. And this could certainly be where this conflict comes from with this person, okay? There's so much to their feeling. They see the potential for long term as well with this um, pentacle energy, this earthy grounded energy here. And this beautiful mutual love, this beautiful soul connection that they share with you. And maybe it's not something that they're used to um, going within themselves, okay? And maybe this is someone who struggles certainly with um, communicating these feelings to you. I dream of you, it all feels so real, I reach out to you and you are not there. This person could be dreaming about you, okay, daydreaming about you. I do feel, okay, that this, there is this strong desire from this person, okay, to overcome any obstacles, overcome any challenges, any barriers that they have created is what I'm getting here, okay. It's like what I'm getting here is that you were very open to this person, you're very loving, very nurturing, very caring to this person, okay? And it's like they didn't take the opportunity when it was there. They created barriers, created challenges. And now it's like they want to dissolve all of those is what I'm seeing here. We do have, I don't have the strength right now. Certainly with this five of wands energy, okay? And this needing for more time here. This person hasn't sort of found that inner peace within themselves yet. They are still conflicted, okay? And I don't feel this is anything to do with you, which is why I feel that message of don't take it personally is coming through. I feel this person is very well aware of um, of the need for change then, okay? With this five, fives can indicate significant changes, okay? That can feel quite painful and challenging for us. Could even be a mindset that needs to um, be surrendered here. There's something else I'm getting. Let's get some oracle cards now for you. What else does your person want to say to you at this time, group number one? So group number one, what does their person want to say? What is their message to them today? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Blessings will soon be arriving. Your wish comes true. Absolutely beautiful. I feel this person is hoping and praying for you, wishing for you, okay? They want to make things happen. I definitely feel... <clears throat> With this candle here, okay, the flame is still burning between you guys. It could also be a lot of passion, okay, that is sort of pent up passion, frustration, okay, that is sort of being, um, it's not quite getting the right outlet, is something else I'm getting here as well. But yeah, this person wants to let you know, okay, that love is going to win in this case. They want this union with you, okay, they want to make wishes come true with you. You are this person's wish fulfillment. We've got coffee date meetup invitation, uh, sorry, inviting opportunity. For many of you, this person wants to invite you out, okay, ask you on a date, okay, and they definitely find you to be somebody, okay, who is very, it is like the golden opportunity, the queen of pentacles, okay, she's, um, 
she's very nurturing, she's got it all together. And like I said earlier, I feel this person of mine is tough. You don't need them. However, you desire them, that you want them to be a part of your life. And I feel this is something that's very attractive for this person. I'm also getting, okay, this person could be um, a heavy coffee drinker, okay. They could be quite a connoisseur when it comes to coffee, okay. I'm also feeling, okay, that this is more than just a, a meet-up, okay. This person could sort of try to play down a, a date with you is what I'm getting. Um, we've actually got planning and preparing, I'm noticing on the bottom here again, okay. We do have that coffee pot. So perhaps this person's just going to invite you out for a coffee, okay. But there's so much more, there's so much behind that coffee date is what I'm getting here. And again, I feel that comes from this person perhaps having some inner conflict here, okay, in regards to expressing how deeply they do feel for you. Let's have a couple more from this deck and we get some more written messages for you as well. So we've got meditation brings answers. So meditation could be um, a very positive um, thing for you to be participating in this, at this time. This person perhaps, okay, is trying to find that more peaceful state through meditation, yoga, or more spiritual practices than perhaps they've entertained in the past is something else I'm getting here. And we've also got here, well, we've got divine masculine energy here. This person is on a journey, okay, is what I'm getting here, okay, to become this divine masculine. I definitely feel, okay, this person is thinking long term with you. They are thinking about, um... I also feel they could be going through some sort of a spiritual awakening, which is why more time is needed at this time. They are going through a lot. It's like a lot from the past has been triggered for this person, okay, for it to be purged in order for them to find themselves in a more healthy space. Divine masculine doesn't have to be male, okay, could be the female in the connection. Um, it's just the energy there. We've all got that divine masculine energy within us. I definitely feel this person is praying and wishing, okay, for things to come right between you guys. We've also got, I've got you, support, loyalty and in it together. Absolutely beautiful. This person really wants to let you know, okay, that you are not in this alone. That they feel this connection. Look how we've got those hands, holding hands there, okay, and then head to head. That support, okay, that um, mutuality here. This connection could be frozen, okay, we do have the winter card underneath there, okay, so frozen in time at this moment. And I can't help but notice, okay, we do actually have the king of pentacles under there, so divine counterparts are showing themselves here. Let's get some more messages for you. What else does this person want to say to my group number ones, please? We have August, that could be a significant time frame for you, okay, could be... Um, Obviously, this coming August as well could be significant for you. We've got some lyrics here for you. This is one step closer to the light. No matter where we're going, I'll be by your side. And everything we used to know crashed into the great unknown. One step closer, we're going to be all right. And that's an Eric, sorry, an Eric Arias song, Find My Way Back. And that's a very powerful song, okay, and I do feel there, are, there is some challenge, there is difficulties, perhaps this person's experience, this connection's experience, and okay, but there is definitely this idea of you finding your way back to the light, okay, and this idea of this mutuality here, okay, this mutual desire to find your way back to each other here. And coming back stronger is what I'm also hearing here. We've also got, you're the one that I want, you are the one that I want. And that's a Grease song, okay, so that film could be significant. This could even be someone's a bit of a bad boy, bad girl, okay, meets good girl, um, good boy. And that transformation occurs, okay, the divine masculine appears, okay, but definitely this person wants you and you alone is something I'm getting here. We've also got September here, so October, uh, sorry, October again, okay, could be significant here. August, September, the summer months, okay, depending obviously where you are in the world, could be significant here for you. Let's get a few more messages now to close out this reading before we get your final card. I want union with you. I'm almost ready. This is absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that I decided to do this reading because this is a beautiful start to it, group number one. We are mirroring each other. And I've just gone really goosebumpy as well. And actually, when I was... um reading this one step closer to the light um song this area eric arias song okay it actually made me quite emotional okay quite um teary as well so that's something else that's coming through here 
any more messages we have I'm on my own journey right now so it is going to take some time it's not something that's going to happen overnight perhaps why this little delay is here for you guys okay this person is making it very clear to you that they're not quite ready yet okay but they do want to make this happen with you how could I do that to you so there could be some guilt okay playing out from this person particularly if there has been conflict here we will come back together I feel it too absolutely beautiful i'm so glad that i decided to live shuffle as well because sometimes when these cards come out it can be a little bit too good to be true unless you actually see them sort of coming out for yourself let's get one more okay we've got two i'm afraid to commit and we also have who knew love could be this intense definitely an intense connection for the both of you here i have many lessons to learn so lessons being learned at this time as well and now let's have a look at your final message, this beautiful card, the image that you chose from. And it says trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So that is your closing message from your person. I definitely feel there is a huge transformation occurring here, okay? It's a very mutual connection. Your person needs more time, okay? But they definitely want to find their way back to you, group number one. So that's what I've got for you. That's been your reading. If it has been helpful, if you've enjoyed, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you want to book a personal reading, you'll find the details in the description box below. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all soon. Hi there group number two, those of you who chose this beautiful image here, this is going to be your reading on no contact and what your person wants to say to you. We're going to take a look at this card at the end of your reading. First of all we're going to get some tarot cards, we're going to get some oracle cards, we're going to get some written messages as well, so quite a lot to get through here. And we're going to find out what is your person's message to you during this time of no contact. I do hope you're all doing well. If you do enjoy the reading, you find it helpful, please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll catch other readings from me in the future, including when I go live with free readings. Okay, so for group number two, what is your person's message? A beautiful start with the Empress energy here. Libra and Taurus energy could be significant for some of you here. We've got the Ten of Wands. Let's get one more from the tarot for you. We've also got the Knight of Cups here. Interesting energy. I feel this person is definitely carrying a bit of a burden, okay? This is someone perhaps who can't let you go despite the no contact situation is something else I'm getting. At the bottom of this deck, well, we've got the Five of Swords here. So quite a heavy energy, okay, within this person's um, mind space right now with this Five of Swords energy. For some of you at least here, okay, this person is um, is aware, okay, that they've sabotaged a connection with you, that perhaps they um, didn't quite come forward with what the Empress, okay, male or female, it doesn't matter, is worthy of, is what I'm getting here. I also feel, okay, this is somebody who has a lot going on, okay, outside of this connection, okay, maybe it's... Um, responsibilities maybe it's work responsibilities family responsibilities okay feel this person is carrying around a lot of other people's burdens is something i'm getting here i also feel for some of you okay this person could be sort of stuck in their own mind space as well as something else i'm getting here is kind of um repeating scenarios or um self-destructive thoughts then is something else that i'm getting here I also feel this person wants to let you know, okay, that they do have love for you, definitely, with this Empress energy and this Knight of Cups, okay. Not only do they have love for you, okay, that they want to approach you with this love. I feel there is also this very, very strong desire from this person, okay, to be more emotionally vulnerable with you. And that is something, perhaps, okay, that they, they have really struggled with, okay. It could have been one of the downfalls when it comes to this connection, when it comes to this relationship. I also feel, okay, like I said about this burden this person's carrying around, okay, I don't feel this is someone who's been able to move away from you easily. Perhaps they anticipated, okay, there would be no contact and it would be easy for them, okay. This Ten of Wands and this Five of Swords is saying completely differently. Also with this Nine of, uh, Knight of Cups, okay, I do feel perhaps this is somebody who is, um, who is very flirtatious, okay. Perhaps they are um, entertaining other options right now, okay. 
but they still can't stop thinking about you is what I'm getting here. There's also this idea perhaps of a guilt this person is carrying around with them at this time. We clearly see in this Empress card, okay, that this lady has a pregnant belly, okay, so for some of you, you could have children with this person, you yourself could be pregnant, or maybe this person is pregnant at this time, it's not going to apply to all of you, of course, okay, but I definitely feel this is somebody who is wanting you to know, okay, that they see your worth, they see how much you have grown as a person, they also see, okay, this huge potential, okay, to grow something wonderful and magnificent with you. There is this idea of unconditional love with the Empress as well. I also feel with this Empress energy, okay, this is your energy. You, the watcher here, okay, male or female, it doesn't matter. I do feel you're embodying this energy. <clears throat> and I feel as much as you've given to this connection, as much as you've given to this person, okay, maybe you, you've brought it a little bit back to yourself. Now is something I'm getting. And this in itself has caused this person a lot of stress. Just curious what's under there we do have the ace of pentacles i do feel on the three of cups i feel this person is longing for reunion with you they want a new beginning with you okay they want to tell you okay that they didn't get it right first time round okay but they really want to invest in the second time round or a third time whatever it happens to be for your situation obviously okay if you choose to accept this person back it's up to you but i do feel that it's their message for you that they plan to approach you with some sort of a romantic more vulnerable offer okay something that they they plan on nurturing this time round let's get some more messages from this person though i want union with you i'm almost ready so it's kind of confirming what we were just talking about there we also have i will return but right now i have to heal this is really important, okay, this person needs to drop this burden, they need to drop this sabotage in ways, okay, whatever it is for your particular circumstances, it's going to be slightly different for each of you, okay, but I do feel this person has a, I'm seeing like a tripwire, okay, this person's sort of sprinting in the right direction, it's like they, they throw their own tripwire in front of them and they, and they go flying over it is something I'm getting here, and that's obviously something they need to work on. I know I was harsh, it was my defence. With this five of swords, okay, this person could, like I said, sabotage this connection in some kind of way. It could have been with ugly words, it could have been with ugly actions here, okay. But this person has been harsh towards you and it's something that they feel apologetic about. Nobody gets me like you do and that's come out with I'm wiser now. This person has realised, is recognising, okay, just who you are is something that I'm getting here. And in fact, recognising who you are has put an extra strain on their back, um, an extra sort of um, challenge for them in a way okay because you know you are the empress male or female like i say you are really high up there you are the divine feminine energy and you have shown me that true love is not just in fairy tales absolutely beautiful maybe this person is someone who doesn't have a lot of faith in love okay and you've brought out this side of them okay this opportunity for them they didn't see coming for themselves okay and it's kind of triggering for them it's quite burdensome in kind, some kind of ways but I feel this person is very determined to overcome those challenges. I knew the first time I met you, my life would never be the same again. Could have been that instant connection, okay, that instant attraction between you guys. But also this sort of soul recognition is something that I'm getting here as well. Let's get some oracle cards for you now before we, got more we get more written messages for you. What is this person's message to you, group number two? So we've got deep emotions felt from afar. I'm getting two messages with this, okay? There could be a physical distance between you guys, okay? I do feel there is an emotional distance between you at this time. This person feels far more than they're letting on, is another message. So also this ripple effect as well, okay? Is what I'm getting from here, okay? And this five of swords here, this person is becoming very aware, okay? Of how their own self-sabotaging ways their own self-sabotaging thoughts whatever it is okay they have a knock-on effect okay they have this ripple effect and this is something this person is recognizing is what i'm getting with that card as well as these deep emotions they do feel for you so we've got a message from spirit your ancestors are close we've also got time wasted can never be regained stop waiting and start taking action Another thing this person wants you to know is that they have procrastinated. They have sort of um, not made definitive actions, not made um, definitive decisions, okay? They've maybe just sort of sat on the idea of this beautiful seed that has been planted between you guys, okay, rather than taking action. 
I also feel, okay, with this ancestors being close, okay, and this awareness that they're now coming towards, okay, I do feel this is somebody who wants to take, like I said, this more vulnerable action towards you, wants to sort of nurture the seed that you once planted. We've also got classic, original and irreplaceable. This person cannot replace you. They may try to replace you, may look for you and others, okay, but they can't replace you. I also feel there is this air of grace about you, okay. Um, you do have this very... Um, graceful this very nurturing energy and that's something that this person finds extremely attractive we've also got prayer faith and hope don't give up hope and i feel this person is hoping you don't give up on them is something else i'm getting through group number two let's get some more messages what else does your person want to say to you group number two at this time let's get a few out and we can read them all together so at the bottom of the deck, I'm going to be bold. Are you ready? This person wants to take action towards you. Definitely picking up that. My feelings for me scare you. Definitely feeling that with his five of swords too. I have to stay away for now. It's best for us both to do our own thing. We also have, I know time is running out. It's like, yeah, this person knows that maybe they need to get their shares together, okay? They know that... Um, they need to be in a better headspace, okay, to approach this. They need to regain this faith and hope as well as something else I'm getting here, okay. Um, but at the same time, they know they can't wait forever. And in some of the cases I'm hearing, they could be a little bit afraid that the ship has already sailed. I feel so alone. I do miss you even if I don't show this. I feel this is someone who does struggle with expressing their emotions for you. And they are missing you an awful lot right now. Feeling very burdened, like I said, a lot more burdened than they expected to by this no contact. I thought you were crazy, but maybe I was the crazy one. I want a union with you. I am trying to manifest you. This person definitely wants you back in their life, group number two. That is certainly something that is coming through very strongly here. Give them the time that they need, though, okay? That doesn't mean you've got to accept them when they come to you, okay? Don't wait on anyone. You just do you, okay? But if you do want this connection, I do feel that this time is very necessary for this person to sort of get their head straight, okay, before they can come towards you with something that the Empress truly deserves. Let's get just a couple more messages now. So at the bottom of this deck, I want to put things right between us, but I don't know how, or but how, rather. I'm sure that's going to focus. So this conflict in itself, this five of swords, they want to take this bold action to you. They want to be vulnerable towards you, but at the same time, it's like, how do I do that? How do I get that? How do I get the Empress back when I've clearly taken some misguided steps in the past, is what I'm feeling here. We've got weight. Like I was just saying, if you do want this connection, okay, now is maybe not quite the right time. This person is getting into that energy, okay? This person is hoping that you're going to wait for them for sure. Right now, this is just too much for me. How could you still love me after everything? This person is definitely questioning that here. You're never going to fade away. You're always going to be the main attraction. That's make it shine. And yeah, the Empress is very hard to forget indeed, okay? This person hasn't forgotten you, isn't able to put down the burden of the thoughts that they have of you continually as well as something i'm getting someday this could be ordinary someday this could be extraordinary and that's a someday we've also got man down and it's um i'm like man down baby want to take my life she don't want to be no side she just wants to be my wife calling up the lads like a man down this could be someone who's a bit of a commitment bob okay somebody who uh, maybe didn't see themselves settling down okay let's freak them out because um you are that kind of energy this classic original okay um irreplaceable and this empress energy it's a very committed energy that i'm feeling from your side of things okay and this could have thrown this person a little bit it's not something that they're used to and your final message the image that you chose from today group number two criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform i do feel okay this person is hoping that you will be open-minded okay that you will hear them out is something that i'm getting here okay that you're not just going to cut them off i also feel okay there could certainly be um or have been an energy here okay where there have been cross words between you guys where you have maybe fallen into that criticizing one another or perhaps this person of you or vice versa okay and this is something okay that i feel 
this time apart has sort of been necessary for okay so you can sort of find that balance within yourselves and to allow okay this relationship to actually transform into something that is a far more stable far more um far more committed okay even if it is um not quite the right time right now this person wants to let you know that they do definitely have that in their mind they want to transform this situation they are not happy with things as they are with you and they wanted to move things forward with you in a more positive direction group number two so that's been your messages from your person i hope the reading's been helpful if you have enjoyed please leave me a like comment subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and i shall catch you all in another reading again soon take care everyone bye Hello group number three, those of you who chose this beautiful image here. This is going to be your reading on um, no contact, no communication and your messages from your person. We'll take a look at that card for you at the end of the reading. We're going to get some tarot cards first of all for you. We're also going to get some written messages, some oracle cards and have a look at what your person's message is for you today. I do hope you're all doing well. Just notice twice, okay, the nine of swords there. Um, this person could be having some sleepless nights at this time, okay, they could be very stressed and anxious about this connection, about life in general, some of them here, okay. I am feeling a little bit breathless, so I'm just going to take a moment and I'm going to pause for a second. Before I come to this reading, okay, I was channeling the song Don't Leave Me This Way, okay, I do feel there is this idea of this person panicking, okay, that you have left them, that this connection is over okay there could be a lot of stress from this person okay going on in regards to that let us get some tarot now that's a few too many let's get some tarot cards though we're going to find out what is your person's message for group number three what does their person really want to say to them today for spirit starting out with the knight of cups here let's get a little bit more we've also got the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is just at the bottom of the deck as well which is quite interesting we also have for you wow the lovers wow 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 this person's message to you guys okay is that they have a deep sense of love for you that they are in fact in love with you they feel this deep soul connection with you they see the potential, okay, for happy ever after with you. At the bottom of this deck, we've got the world card. We've also got the high priestess as well here, okay. There could be a lot going on behind the scenes. I'm noticing, okay, three major arcanas here. I feel this person is feeling a very deep, intense connection with you. It's a very um, soulful connection, okay. There's something that... This person thinks the world of you, okay? This person is feeling this really, really intensely. If there is a challenge between you guys, if you are in separation, okay, there's no contact situation that you're in right now. It's really, really challenging for this person, okay? That's why that Nine of Swords was showing up for you earlier on. With the Ten of Pentacles, okay, you can often speak about a situation, okay, where you meet someone who's kind of perfect, okay, but you both have your own paths to sort of lead, okay, before you can come into this beautiful, harmonious, long-term um, commitment is something I'm getting here. I'm feeling kind of giddy, okay, kind of excited, okay, I feel this person is feeling this way about you, okay, this person wants to travel with you, wants to travel towards you is another message I'm getting here for you. Gemini's energy as well as um, Scorpio and Pisces energy could be significant here for some of you as well. This person's message for you is that they love you, okay, that they want to make you a romantic offer, they want to make um, things long term with you, okay, they see the potential for that with you, okay. I also feel, okay, there could be vast differences between you and your person, okay, they want to sort of, um, that film Blended is in my head, I'm not sure if you've seen that film, okay, but it's about these very different people, okay, this woman and this guy, okay, they're very different from each other, they've both got kind of families and they blend together and it's, um, it's not your expected scenario, okay, but it's a beautiful scenario that they end up with there. I am willing to fight for you now. I focus more on the material things. What's love got to do with it? This person could be someone who is very focused in the 3D world and you kind of swept them off in a little bit of a whirlwind is something I'm getting here. 
this person wants to take action towards you they want to fight for this connection okay there's no contact okay it's really um it's coming towards a close is what i'm getting for you guys this person's longing for union with you they want um happy ever after i know i took you for granted i didn't see what was right in front of me I feel although this person has all this love for you, all these um, wonderful ideas, okay, and this um, these huge amount of feelings for you, they've always been afraid to be vulnerable with you is something I'm getting here. And this is also why perhaps they focus more on material aspects of life, okay. Maybe this person didn't feel they had enough to offer you financially, okay, and that's something that held them back is something I'm getting here. I also feel, okay, with this the nine of swords that showed itself earlier on okay i feel this person is a little bit stressed okay because they know full well that they didn't act with the best of integrity they didn't act the way they should have okay when they meet their ultimate soulmate is something that i'm hearing here this person is recognizing and realizing that i need more time let's get a few more from this deck for you Ooh, that's quite a lot we have i try to distract myself but there is no escaping you I trust you. I still feel your energy. I can run, but I cannot hide. Definitely picking up on that. Okay, this Knight of Cups, this Ten of Pentacles. Okay, no context. Okay, but this person is still feeling the intensity of this connection as if you were in contact. You still pick up on each other's energies, perhaps a very fighty um, connection, maybe. I know time is running out. I'm going to be bold. Are you ready? This person is on the approach to you guys. I think about reaching out to you, but my ego gets in the way, which is perhaps why this person needs a little bit more time, okay, to work through that ego issue maybe they've got, okay. It could even be a case of swallowing their pride, okay. Maybe you've told this person, okay, the potential of this connection. You recognised it sooner than them. They're, like, very dismissive is what I'm getting here. And um, that could be sort of a, a bitter pill they have to swallow, okay, in order to come back towards you. I feel so alone. I do miss you even if I don't show this to you. At the bottom of the deck, I know we are spiritually connected. I'm sorry that I ever doubted you or us. This person is definitely recognising, okay, the spiritual aspect of this connection, okay, the soul level um, connection that you share with each other. And I feel this person, okay, is somebody who does really long for this happy ever after with you is something that I'm getting here. Actually, let's get some oracle cards before we get more written messages for you. Well, they're jumping up really quickly for you as well. Quality time with friends and celebrations. We have hear no evil, see no evil and speak no evil. This person in some respect, okay, could not have told you about how they feel, okay. You could be um, totally oblivious to how this person is feeling about you, okay. I also feel this could be somebody, okay, who is currently maybe out, okay, partying, having um, a really good time, or so it seems, okay, when that's not quite the case, that's not really how they are, um, they're not enjoying this away time as much as they might come across, is what I'm getting. We've got waiting on communication here, not wanting to be the first to make a move and stubbornly silent. And we also have, I long for you, my passion burns deep from within my soul. At the bottom of this deck, we've got it's time to fly, let go of fear and have faith. I feel that's what this person is longing to do. They want you to know, okay, that they are... I'm getting for some of you here, okay, if this person sort of, um, you could have spoken to this person about the fact that they've taken no action, okay, they lack vulnerability, okay, they need to do something here, okay, and um, they lack the courage, okay, to be who they needed to be is something I'm getting here, and this person is finally sort of taking that leap of faith is what I get here. Just one second, I need a little drink of water. let's get some more messages i want you so much a lot of passion here okay a lot of desire for sure i dream of you so often so you could be meeting up in the 5d with this person okay this person is dreaming about you they're in this like sort of almost like a la la land is what i'm getting here a little bit okay they need to come back down to earth okay to make this action happen is something i'm getting here as well We've got, I can't leave my current situation right now. I know I may never get you back. And how could I do that to you? For those of you, okay, where this person has hurt you, okay, in some kind of way here, okay, they are very well aware of that. And that could be, 
a little bit of why that ego okay is um getting in the way of them reaching out to you here and also why that nine of swords i don't know why i keep wanting to go back to that nine of swords but it definitely feels like an energy that this person is um experiencing particularly the night times are extremely difficult for this person at the bottom of this deck you feel like home to me absolutely beautiful let's get a few more messages and then we'll get your last message to close out this reading what else does your person want to say to you group number three <clears throat> so we have it was me and not you i feel also for some of you this person could have lacked accountability in the past and this is something that they're sort of learning the lesson of i've never felt like this before my love for you is like nothing i've ever experienced and there's that deep soul connection and, you know, the potential for the Ten of Pentacles here. And that in itself, okay, when this person met you, this instant connection you shared, okay, this recognition, okay, this is something very different, something um, out of the worldly is what I'm getting, something very deep, okay, could have freaked this person out. Maybe this isn't what this person was looking for at that time. We have days, so for some of you, okay, it could even be days before you hear from this person. And we've also got, think about it, there must be a higher love. Deep down inside my, your heart or hidden in the stars, without it, love, life is a waste of time. Look inside your heart and I'll look inside mine. Bring me a higher love. I do feel this is a higher level of soulmate and twin flame connection for many of you here. And this person could even be recognising that. I miss you. I love you. That actually makes me feel like I want to cry, okay? So maybe you will actually cry tears of joy when this person finally makes that confession. If it's going to be, let it be, baby, just let it be. This person is so hoping that this can still be. My friends play a big part in my decisions. And we also have springs. The springtime could be significant for some of you here as well. And at the bottom of this deck, if you leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. And that's really interesting with that channel song that was coming through for you um, earlier on, which I cannot remember now. It was something about not leaving, though. Please don't leave me this way. Yeah, that song coming through as well. This person, okay, is desperately hoping that you've not given up hope. that They still stand a chance with you, group number three. At the bottom, uh, not at the bottom of the deck, sorry, the card that you chose from, this beautiful image here, a lot of passion, okay, a lot of love here. I also feel for some of you, this person could have mistaken this love for lust, okay, and um, that's something that they come to recognise, but it's a bit deeper than that. Valentine's Day or around that time, we've also got a Welsh Valentine's Day, which is around the 25th, I think, of January, okay, so those dates could be significant, I know that's a bit random, okay, um, but yeah, that's something that's coming through, so I thought I'd share it with you. But this beautiful image here, and what the message says for you is, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice that we make expands our understanding of life and love. I do feel okay, I've just gone goosebumpsy, I do feel there's a reunion energy here, okay. And even if this person has kind of taken a wrong turn, there's no contact situation, okay, it's actually benefiting the both of you, sort of redirecting you is what I'm getting into this beautiful union energy and this potential for long term with that ten of pentacles. So that's been your reading, guys. I hope it has been helpful. If you've enjoyed, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I'll catch you in another reading soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.